Well, with just 12 days left before a possible economic crisis and the August 2nd default deadline looming, D.C. lawmakers are floating several plans, including the proposal by the Senate's Gang of Six. Their plan would reduce the nation's debt by an estimated $3.7 trillion over the next decade. But is there enough time to come to consensus? Joining us right now from Washington, D.C., is one member of the Gang of Six, Senator Michael Crapo. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Are you surprised? I know when you guys uh, started working on this, it was going to be a deficit reducer, not a debt limit fixer. Yeah, that's true. In fact, this was never conceived to be a part of the debt ceiling battle we are in right now, although it could possibly be utilized by some who want to use it as, in its entirety or in pieces, a part of the solution. Mm -hmm. But what we are focused on is the debt crisis. This is a comprehensive change of American fiscal policy that puts everything on the table and provides a pathway for America to rebuild our economy. Senator, the Wall Street Journal on their editorial page today writes that this Gang of Six proposal may be a good one, but there are just simply too few details. They've only seen a seven-page outline. Yeah, that's true. There are a lot of details. We've been negotiating this, this over six months and really getting down into the weeds and working things out. Uh, but they were working off of a seven-page outline, and the details, frankly, have not been put out yet. We've put out the basic outline. So I think when they see the details, they'll see that there is a, there's plenty there to put forward the kind of approach that I think America needs to deal with our debt crisis. Okay, I think uh, people will be fascinated to see the details. However, Paul Ryan, uh, one of your counterparts uh, on the Republican side over in the House, has looked at what he uh, can get his uh, hands on, and he sees $2 trillion worth of new taxes. Well, that's just not accurate. And the way this comes about is that uh, depending on the baseline you use and how you start analyzing and what assumptions you make, you can pretty much do whatever you want with numbers. Uh, the bottom line here is that we will have more in rate reduction than in tax expenditure elimination, if you understand what I'm talking about there. And uh, the bottom line is we will be reducing taxes dramatically. We are going to bring down the income tax rates from the highest rates now of a, going up to 39% down to a range of 23 to 29%. And the middle rate will be 12 to 18%, and the bottom rate will be 8 to 12%. That's a phenomenal tax cut for Americans across the board. And I think, uh, Senator, a lot of Americans would be happy that the uh, tax system is reformed if this comes to pass. Meanwhile, out of the House, uh, they have passed the cut, cap, and balance. And now you on the Senate side are going to uh, start looking at that and debating it and could vote uh, by Saturday, I understand. Do you like that idea? Because there are a lot of freshman Republicans who say we simply cannot go for anything less than cut, cap, and balance. I really do like that bill. I'm a co-sponsor of it in the Senate. It cuts spending, it caps spending in the future, and it, and it requires that we adopt a balanced budget amendment. And frankly, I think we ought to do the cut, cap, and balance bill. We ought to do the gang of six bill, which changes our fiscal policy, reforms our tax code, and further starts reducing spending. Mm -hmm. And then we ought to do it again, frankly. We have a $14.5 trillion debt. Ours is a $3.7 trillion solution, right. which makes major changes, but we still need to do much more than even the cut, cap, and balance bill or the gang of six bill. And, Senator, uh, I know the White House, uh, through the person of uh, Jay Carney yesterday, mentioned that, you know, we might have to have a little stopgap measure in the interim because, you know, they've just started thinking about the gang of your proposal. What have you heard about a stopgap? I have heard that the White House is now uh, basically reversing its position and taking a positive look at a, a stopgap temporary move. Uh, I personally don't think that's likely to work because we'll just move up toward the new deadline if we do that. Uh, bottom line is, I think we need to get a solution to the debt ceiling crisis and move forward and then evaluate the detail and move into aggressive uh, consideration of the Gang of Six proposal. And if the Gang of Six proposal, as I said, can be a part of the debt ceiling solution, that's fine. But it wasn't intended as right. that. It was intended as a solution to our debt crisis. Well, now there you are uh, in the midst of all of it. Uh, Senator Michael Crapo from the great state of Idaho, thank you, sir, for joining us from our D.C. Bureau. Thank you.